are being used and horrendous cruel experiments on animals instead of prevention and helping people through addictions. Animal Justice Project also runs the campaign Secret War, which sets out to reveal war warfare experiments on animals. Our coverage in newspapers, such as The Mirror, revealed to thousands the barbarity going on still in the government laboratory in Wiltershire, Porton Down, one that many people, such as myself, was not aware of. In the media, we spoke about pigs being forced to inhale toxic mustard gas, rabbits being deliberately inflicted with so-called battlefield wounds, and having their legs broken, and rats having their eyes blasted out with missiles. Ironically, this city's leading university, University of Birmingham, not far from where we are standing today, was partially behind some of this research. It is on their watch that rats have been blinded in pointless uh, studies. We have other UK-led campaigns, so please feel free to talk to me or my colleagues on the info stand afterwards. But our work goes beyond the UK. We have worked in the United States and Sweden. Around this time last year, we organized a major demo at UCLA in California. We also have reports on our website, www.animaljusticeproject.com. So please do check them out. Uh, this year, our director traveled to Sweden to hand in a 56,000 strong petition alongside the Swedish Animal Rights Alliance against primate experiments at Scandinavia's last primate laboratory. We additionally handed in an open letter to the Swedish Embassy in London, signed by 33 leading experts, including primologists such as Dr. Jane Goodhall and celebrities like Moby. Sadly, we didn't manage to halt the import of Mark Hay monkeys to the laboratory for a malaria study, but because of our pressure, researchers changed their protocol, which means less monkeys were used. This is not good enough, though. In Sweden, we took our science advisor to a meeting head-to-head -head with the monkey researchers. We continue dialogue with the university along with our Swedish partners and are leaving them in no doubt to the international condemnation. There is a chance that they will let. There is a chance they will let the Swedish Animal Rights Alliance rehome some of their monkeys to a sanctuary, but we will keep you updated. As you may have noticed, a large majority of our campaigns are centered around universities. This isn't surprising when government figures show that around half of all the 4 million animal exper experiments carried out in the UK each year take place in universities. Which is why last year we set up our main flagship campaign, Campus Without Cruelty. Campus Without Cruelty aims to raise awareness among students and staff at universities and other educational institutions on the issue of animal experimentation and to encourage students not to use live animals as a part of their education and to provide guidance on how to do this. We have painstakingly sent freedom of information requests to almost every university in this country and we've done this for the past two years. We are keen to work with local groups like some of you here today and students to stamp out animal experiments on university campuses. As a part of this initiative, our volunteers carry out positive outreach on campuses to spread the message of compassion and animal rights. So far, we have carried out demonstrations and outreach at Bristol, UCL, Cardiff, Exeter and Sheffield. We are now looking at Manchester University, a huge user of animals, and one like Bristol that year after year refuses to provide us even the most basic information with regards to their animal experiments. And this is where I come in. I'm the coordinator for the Campus Without Cruelty group at the University of Manchester. There is unfortunately a long history of animal experimentation at Manchester and the situation isn't improving despite there being an EU directive which requires that researchers use alternatives to animals and research wherever possible. In 2015, the number of animals used at Manchester University increased by over 19% from the year before to a staggering 174,120 animals. 
I dread to think how many have been experimented on last year in 2016. The majority are mice, over a hundred thousand of them. We believe the University of Manchester to be the sixth largest user of animals in the UK. Oxford University, Edinburgh University and UCL are the top three users of animals. Animal Justice Project has already carried out a demonstration and outreach alongside the UCL vegan student group and also online actions against the university. We plan on doing more. We found that a lot of the experiments at Manchester University are funded by medical charities such as Diabetes UK, Cancer Research UK, who have their own special division in Manchester University, and British Heart, Heart Foundation, which is why it's great to see the British Heartless Foundation campaign group here today. Campus Out Cruelty Manchester now has a Facebook place, page, so please go like it. And we hold regular outreaches at the Student Union to share information on the shocking experiments to students, most of whom were, ne were never aware that these horrific experiments happened on their campus. We also held a vegan bake sale on Tuesday to promote World Week for Animals and Laboratories, raising over £100 for Animal Justice Project. The failures of animal-based research and worsening successes of human trials have increasingly been put under the spotlight. In 2016, leading doctor Michael Brack from the Yale University School of Public Health condemned animal research, saying animal study methodology is 40 years behind human clinical study design. In the same year, Professor Malcolm McLeod from the University of Edinburgh stated that two-thirds of all published animal studies contain serious errors, including those published in the best journals. This is particularly relevant for UK universities where most of the so-called fundamental research involves animals. Our goal is to have a Campus Without Cruelty group at every university that experiments on animals. Animal experiments are rising, yet veganism has seen a huge 360% growth rate in the last decade in the UK. So we must work solidly to mobilize these new vegans and encourage them to positively work to end animal experiments. Don't let animals in labs go unnoticed. They need us now more than ever. If you study or are part of an animal rights group in a university town, please get in touch with us and start an outreach on your local campus. Finally, Animal Justice Project this year will also be working on Secrecy 24, or rather the Secrecy Clause. This industry is shrouded in secrecy and we have a right to know what is going on to animals in laboratories. Despite the overwhelming numbers of animals being used, we are making an impact. The animal research industry has certainly noticed us. We've now been written about three times by speaking of research and are often featured on their social media platforms. This means we are doing something right and we are certainly not afraid of them. We've also sent hundreds of leaflets and other materials around the country and our volunteer base is growing. I hope you leave today more aware of the different types of experiments being carried out on animals within this country, many of which, such as re recreational drugs research, are happening right now. Every eight seconds, an animal dies in a British laboratory. I sincerely hope that the unity of us gathering today ignites a passionate fire within each of you to get out and do something. And I hope you do it with us. Thank you everyone for coming, especially those who have traveled so far and speaking up for the often forgotten animals in labs today.